Welcome to a new pickups episode. In this pickups video, we're going to go over my pickups for the month of May 2020. I got some pretty cool stuff this month, some Switch games, some PS4 games, some Game Boy games, and I even got another game lot, so I'm excited to share all of that with you today. So, kick back, relax, and let's get into my pickups for the month of May. Let's kick things off with my PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch pickups for the month of May. I've got some pretty damn good stuff here, I think. First off, for the PlayStation 4, I picked up Doom Eternal. Now, I still haven't beat the first Doom game. I am actually working on it on a live stream right now. The last live stream, we played through the first uh, four levels of Doom, the first Doom. And I'm going to play through the entire game on live stream. So be sure and keep an eye out on that if you want to jump in on the fun. It's pretty entertaining. But I can't wait to get into Doom Eternal. I'll probably play it on stream as well. Then next up, we've got World War Z. Now, I've heard that this is a pretty damn good game. I've heard it's sort of like Left 4 Dead, except even more intense. So I'm kind of excited to try this one out. Maybe I can get my editor to buy it so that we can play it together online. And then we've got Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Now, I remember playing Plants vs. Zombies back in the day on mobile, uh, the first and the second game. The first game I will always love the best. I also played it on 3DS. Uh, this looks to be like a third-person shooter combined with some tower defense, and it has split-screen co-op, so uh, I'm going to have to give this one a try. And it actually got pretty decent reviews, too, so it might be worth checking out. Now, for the Nintendo Switch, I picked up Two collector's editions from Limited Run Games. I got the Jumanji collector's edition. There's a lot of good stuff here. I have not played Jumanji yet, but I've heard the video game is okay. Uh, pretty, I heard it's a pretty fun co-op game. And then I got Blasphemous collector's edition. Now, Blasphemous is a game that I have been excited to play for quite some time. It looks like it's right up my alley. And this is a fantastic collector's edition. Now, I actually did an unboxing for both of these collector's editions. And if you missed that, I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. I encourage you to go check it out if you want to see in close-up detail what comes in the boxes for each of these. Now, for the Nintendo Switch pickups, I got some pretty good stuff. I mean, this is all quality, all quality here. So we got Darksiders Genesis, which I haven't even opened yet, but I'm excited to check this one out. Um, I've been waiting for this game for a while. It looks like it's going to be a fantastic sort of Darksiders combined with Diablo-esque game. And it can be played with one to two players, which is also exciting. I love the Darksiders franchise. Played all the games. Well, I haven't played the third one yet, but I played the first and the second one. And I'm looking forward to getting into Darksiders Genesis. Now we got some uh, really high quality and badass looking indie games. We've got Sparklight, which looks to be sort of a roguelike action adventure with some Legend of Zelda-like elements to it. And it looks really good. The uh, pixel art is beautiful. And I've heard this is a really good game. And it also looks like it can be played with two players, which is interesting. I didn't, didn't realize that, but Sparklight. And then we got another roguelike game called Children of Morta. And I haven't played this one yet, but I remember covering it months and months ago on a video uh, for upcoming Switch games. And it looks like a fantastic uh, indie roguelike game. And I'm looking forward to trying it out as well. Also one to two players. And then we've got Valferis. This is a badass game that has heavy, it's full of heavy metal music and it's sort of like Contra and Metal Slug but with heavy metal and a hell of a lot more gore in it. Played a little bit of it and it's pretty difficult but it's a lot of fun. And then of course I picked up Bioshock the Collection and Borderlands Legendary Collection. Three games each here, great value. I love all these games, I've played and beat them all. I really wanted to see how they run on the Nintendo Switch. And if you want to know how they look and run on the Nintendo Switch, as well as why I bought them, I'll leave a link to that video in the description down below. Great games, and they run fantastic on the Nintendo Switch. So, those are my Switch and PS4 pickups. Let's get into the Game Boy pickups. So, I've decided that I'm going to start getting back into collecting for the original Game Boy. Uh, and Game Boy Color too, but I'm going to put most of my focus on the original Game Boy. And my brother Carl, aka Retro Gaming Zone on Instagram, I'll leave a link to his account in the description down below. Great guy, he has a ton of followers and he has a lot of great claim sales. He hooked me up with five Game Boy games for a great price to kind of kickstart my collection. Now I've already got a handful of Game, game Boy games, but I don't have very many. 
But the Game Boy games that I got from him are F1 Race, Dr. Mario, NBA Jam, Pokemon Red, and Tetris. So nothing super rare, but uh, definitely a good stack of quality games, uh, staples that pretty much anybody should have in their Game Boy collection. Some of the other Game Boy games I already own are Kirby's Adventure, uh, Zelda Link to the Past, and I own Super Mario Land 1 and 2. I need to get Super Mario Land 3. And I also have Who Framed Roger Rabbit on the Game Boy, uh, which is not a bad game. But those are my Game Boy pickups. Let's move on to the game lot. Okay, so I got another game lot in May from my usual contact that hooks me up with a small game lot roughly every month to two months. He hooks me up pretty regularly for a great price. Um, me and him have a great relationship. He gets this stuff for cheap. I buy it from him for a little bit more than what he paid for, but well below retail value. So he makes a little money. I get some games to put into my collection and it just works out for both of us so it's great and this is a pretty decent little game lot here pretty decent little game lot got some good stuff here got some unique stuff in here and let's start things off with the loose games now the quality of the stuff that I get from him tends to be all over the place but I have a disc resurfacer so I can fix discs um, I can print cover art if I need to for loose games I can clean up cases so it's not that big of a deal and he makes me such a great deal I would be crazy to argue with him about it so the loose games we've got, we've got for the Xbox 360, Fight Night Championship. For the PlayStation 3, Monopoly. For the PlayStation 2, with a manual, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. For the PlayStation 2, Jaws Unleashed. For the Xbox 360, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. For the Xbox 360, uh, Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. For the Xbox 360, we've got Fallout New Vegas, and the discs are falling out. <laughs> The discs are falling out for Fallout New Vegas. God, I probably just lost some subscribers. We got both the discs for that, but no manual. For the PlayStation 4, we've got Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I believe is what that is. For the original Xbox, we've got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. For the Xbox 360, we've got Mortal Kombat. For the Xbox 360, we've got Call of Duty Black Ops 2. For the Xbox 360, we've got Fight Night Round 3. For the Wii, with a manual, we've got Blast Works. For the Wii, we've got Rune Factory Tides of Destiny. That's a pretty uncommon game. For the Wii, we've got Mario Kart Wii. And lastly, for the loose games, for the PlayStation 2, we got Capcom's Classic Collection. So some pretty decent loose games there, but let's get into the non-loose games. So let me just slide these out of the way. All right, for the Wii, we have got Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes. I've never heard of that game and I know nothing about it. It looks like a, um, what's the name of those games? Uh, Dynasty Warriors. It looks similar to a Dynasty Warriors game. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Then for the Wii, we've got Endless Ocean. It's a pretty heavy case. It's got a thick manual in it. Oof. It's got some bad scratches on the front of the disc. That one's probably not going to work. We got Red Steel 2, which is a fantastic game on the Wii. It takes uh, great advantage of the Motion Plus controller, and it plays really nicely. Now, this is pretty cool. Two games for the price of one in a cardboard slipcover. We got both Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. That's, that's pretty neat right there. That's not something you see very often. For the PlayStation 2, we've got Star Wars Starfighter. For the PlayStation 2, we've got Fantovision. For the PlayStation 2, we've got Ghost Rider. Showdown Legends of Wrestling, which looks like a pretty cool little wrestling game. Jack X Combat Racing. Onimusha Warlords. And, oh my, Playboy The Mansion. A little bit of a risque game to have in there. And we've got a couple of original Xbox games. We've got Blinks the Time Sweeper. Kingdom Under Fire Heroes. And Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. And then we've got a stack of Xbox 360 games. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, Tomb Raider Underworld, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, Alone in the Dark, Fantasy Star Universe. Oh, another oh my moment. We've got Rumble Roses. Then we've got Vanquish, which I've heard is a really good game from Platinum, Captain America Super Soldier, and Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Now let's get into a couple of the unique things that we got out of this uh, lot. 
So we've got this Guild Wars 2 Collector's Edition on the PC, and I don't really know a lot about this. Uh, PC games are not really my forte, but it's still pretty cool, especially considering it's a Collector's Edition. Now this is pretty neat. This is the official book of Leisure Suit Larry, covers Larry 1, 2, and 3, and this book was published in... Uh, 1990 this book was published in 1990 so it's a pretty old book and it's I mean it's an actual book like with pictures and words and paragraphs uh, but it goes along with the games the PC games I assume so this is pretty cool and I looked this up on eBay and I only found one of these on eBay listed at $99 so I have no idea what this thing's worth Surely it's not worth $99. That person may be making their own price since they're the only one listed on eBay. Who the hell knows? We also got a strategy guide for Front Mission 3. And then we've got this. This is pretty cool. For the PlayStation 2, we've got a huge big box, complete in box, Dance Dance Revolution Extreme 2 with the game and the dance pad inside. But you got to have the iToy camera, it looks like, as well play this game and that's sold separately but still it's pretty cool pretty cool you don't see these very often because most people throw away the box so that's pretty neat and then this is pretty cool so we've got a, a kind of an older toy in here it's been opened before clearly but it's uh the gi joe uh ryu or ryu however you choose to pronounce it gi joe figure for street fighter 2 from capcom and it's got uh his uh swords it's got a gun a knife and some grenades and they look like they've never been opened as well as the little uh, the little information packet but the figure definitely has been played with it has some dirt on it it's definitely been pulled out of the box uh, but all in all it's in pretty good condition and it's pretty cool and this came out in 1993 so this is an older toy to come out in 1993 and it's pretty neat it's pretty neat I'm probably not going to keep it because I don't really collect toys or anything right now, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. The fact that he included that in the game lot is pretty neat. I mean, it is a video game related toy, so I guess that makes sense. But yeah, another awesome game lot for my usual contact. So there you have it, folks. Those are my video game pickups for the month of May 2020. I'm pretty happy with this month. Things are finally starting to pick back up again. For a while there, I wasn't getting very many pickups, but I'm kind of finally starting to kind of get back into the swing of things, which is good, and that makes me happy. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you picked up in the month of May. I'd love to hear it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you can join the Retro Wolf family. I would love to have you on this awesome journey that we're all taking together. As always, folks, stay safe out there. Keep playing games and having a good time, and I will see you all in the next video. Later.